with the Snyder Cut of the Justice League just around the corner. We got some new McFarlane figures to talk about, and hopefully they'll be going up for pre-order real, real soon. The new Dark Father Collect to Build figure line way. Let's talk about it right now. Now, before we just get into things, I'll be real clear. We have seen these figures revealed, and this is, you know, we got some more press release images from Looks like Amazon Canada put them up a little bit early. Doesn't look like they're available just yet. But, you know, Batman, Death Metal, he's rocking a guitar. You got Superman, you got Wonder Woman, and of course you have the Robin King. Before we get into all that, over the weekend, in case for those that were wondering, I will have more details on this. I will tell you that they are coming soon. They were put out just a little bit early, but Amazon launched four of the new McFarlane toys DC Justice League Snyder Cut movie figures, Aquaman, Flash, Darkseid, and Steppenwolf. A lot of questions. I get it. Rest assured, go ahead. You can pre-order them if you want. I'll have the links in the description below, but we'll have the full releases coming up very, very shortly, probably around the movie release. Just FYI. Maybe you can make a better decision on whether or not you want these. So let's get into the new build a wave right so you got death metal batman now this is the exact same figure that we got in the previous wave that kind of pairs up better with the motorcycle the bat cycle that was seen in the artwork so if you already have this guy it might be a pass but he does come with a really rocking guitar which i'm saying it's plastic man as the guitar i don't know i just think the colors would match just an interesting type of thing if it's not whatever but it's the exact same batman figure and then he of course comes with the dark father's legs so yeah you, you know if you want to build that guy just saying but this batman is pretty cool i like the outfit i did enjoy the death metal storyline up until the last issue it got it went real bizarre the whole thing was bizarre but then it went like super bizarre but hey you know what you give me a batman rocking a plastic man guitar whatever you want to call it. it's cool the cool part about this batman is that it, and relatively well to the story we learned that in whatever's happened batman actually died and he's being kept alive by his black lantern ring which they included on the sculpt for this figure so props to mcfarland for that i like those little tidbits they throw in there so well done on that with the superman he looks different, right? Not your typical Superman figure. Comes with swappable hands, which is excellent. Stand comes with the arms of the build a figure. And this Superman, you know, really looks like he steps right off the comics panel. Now, I wish that he did come with a guitar as well. I think that that would have been kind of cool. You want to get two Batmans now to get the two guitars, even though it's not the same guitar. But you get what I'm saying. This Superman, you know, he's kind of going dark side ish you'll notice that with like his stone arm going on so if you were wondering it's basically just that we'll say it's a complicated mess but uh yeah he's going all kinds of stone craggly not in a good way shape or form now wonder woman yeah she's she's faring a little bit better and i have to say if this figure comes out exactly how it shows in these promo images that's one gorgeous looking wonder woman if you're wondering about her she comes with her invisible chainsaw basically spoilers you should know this by now you should have read the comics but she kills the batman who laughs he becomes like an entity god ascends blah 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 but that's where the chainsaw comes from so that's like her weapon in the miniseries and she looks good she's got blue in her hair she comes with the head and the cape for the build a figure and again if she comes out looking every bit as she looks good here that's that's one good looking it, it makes up for the last wonder woman wasn't a big fan of the last sign on earth wonder woman i like the design but i don't think it translated well into plastic form and then finally the last figure for this lineup is the robin king and this sadistic little sucker is i mean looks like he stepped right off the pages as well now he is a minion of batman who laughs he is bruce wayne once again much like all these other dark knights comes with the torso and some extra hands which is excellent to see basically his whole shtick is that he's like a crazy version in kid form of bruce wayne his pouches on his belt contain weapons to kill every member of the justice league 
he's sadistic. He's crazy. He was at point kind of looking like he might be an ally slash good guy, but they quickly rectified that by the end of the death metal storyline. He's gross. He's sick. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, but he looks dang good in this action figure form. Now to go over the collect build figure, this is the Dark Father. Now Todd McFarlane did show this guy off and being as now he's kind of drawn in the comics, he's perhaps a little bit too big, but at the same time, he kind of looks good as like, he's supposed to be like Batman height, but this one, the figure is coming out like he's like gargantuan. So I'm a stickler for scale, but in this sense, it kind of looks better. I don't, I mean, I really have no problems. I think once I have it in hand, I'll make a better assumption. But uh, yeah, I think that that was the way to go. Anyways, it's basically Batman tampering and taking over Darkseid's stuff and he gets anti-life equations. You know how that comics go. It just becomes Batman Darkseid. That's all you really got to know at this point. Torment Superman does all the stuff to him. Superman's got the stone arm. Yada yada. Now we're probably wondering when is this going to be available? The pre-orders for these should go up hopefully within the week. So depending on when you see this video, but it could be a little bit longer, but sometime in March, and then they will release on store shelves, pretty much at all retailers, in and around June. We know how we are with dates. So hopefully pre-orders in and around March and hopefully on shelves in and around June. So that's when you can hopefully expect them. Things come up. It's all about retailers and everything else, putting them out. So that's your general timeline consensus. So that is gonna wrap it up for my look at the new and upcoming wave. Curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And we'll have some more to talk about when the Snyderverse figures are officially released by McFarlane Toys. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, now all we need is the Frank Frazetta Batman. I mean, the Lobo Bat, the Lobo Batman. <laughs> that would make for an amazing figure. The Batman who frags. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.